Eminence Manufacturing Projectile Sizer 6K, capable of sizing 6,100 projectiles per hour. Uh, very easy machine to use uh, and set up. Uh, very easy to change dies. Uh, so to start the machine, just make sure your e-stop is reset, which it is. Press the power button. There's a variable frequency inverter drive. Uh, it takes a few seconds to boot up. It, it's ready. Uh, to run the machine, has a potentiometer to increase or decrease the speed. It's handy depending on the type of projectile you may be you know, resizing. And the chain to die. Stop the machine, has a jog function, forward and reverse, to get the punch into a suitable location. Put it in the upper position. Turn the machine off uh, for safety reasons. And change the die. Die change is that simple. It only takes a few seconds. Uh, so we'll load some projectiles in the uh, drop tube. These are 122 grain flat point 9mm uh, projectiles. So once again, turn your machine on, it'll boot up, and you hear a little slight click, it's ready. Run the machine. And increase the speed. 6,100 per hour. We'll jog back to the upper position. Turn the machine off and we'll do another die change. Easy as, changed again, ready, and we'll load uh, another style. These are 100 grain semi wad cutters, 38 special, quite a small projectile. Uh, this machine can handle um, small projectiles quite consistently uh, without any jams. Uh, if you're running a larger or taller, longer projectile, uh, you can adjust the uh, drop tube uh, collet uh, just to raise it for longer projectiles. Uh, if you wish to fit and size 45, you'll need a larger drop tube and collet, a simple replace uh, to fit uh, the larger uh, dies and so on. So we'll turn the machine on again. It's booting up. It's ready. Turn it to run. It's on full speed already. It has a slow ramp up. In the event of a jam, uh, if a projectile half drops into the transfer bar, the transfer bar is unable to feed, the punch will come down through a cutout in the transfer bar uh, without causing any damage. The transfer bar will re-feed, reset, uh, hopefully the projectile will drop and then uh, it will continue on uh, sizing. If there's a major failure or collision of the punch onto the transfer bar, 
Uh, if the machine is running at full speed, it has two shear bolts uh, which will shear off without uh, causing any damage to components or the gearbox. If the machine's running at a slower speed and it comes to a jam, it has a current limit function. So what that means is it'll back off the torque. It'll then try to proceed if the jam uh, it will not clear, uh, the machine will fault. And then it's a matter of clearing the jam, resetting the machine and continuing on. In the former, if you shear the pins, uh, it's just a matter of putting those couple of bolts back in. They're very easy to uh, change. If you have any inquiries, you can contact us or send us a message. Uh, we also, uh, we are an Australian company. Uh, we are able to export these machines, so we welcome any inquiries uh, from individuals or companies. Contact us, we'll answer those, uh, answer any questions or provide information if required. Thank you very much for your time.